3D scanning is a technology that goes hand in hand with 3D printing. Today I'm going to give a quick overview of this 3D technology. There are many types of 3D scanners, but most of them can be categorized as either active or passive. Active 3D scanners output some sort of light or radiation, such as a laser or a projected white light pattern. Passive 3D scanners do not output any light, but instead capture ambient light or radiation. Both types use one or more sensors to capture light or radiation bouncing off the target object. These coordinates are collected using 3D scanning software during the scanning process and are assembled into a point cloud. Each point in the cloud represents a measured point in the 3D space containing your object. Many editing applications cannot work directly with point clouds, so most of the time the finished point cloud is ex exported from the 3D scanning software as a standard surface mesh file, such as an STL or WRL. 3D scans can be used to make digital renderings, they can be modified using 3D CAD software to make new objects, or they can be printed as is for direct duplication. 3D scanners come in multiple form factors. Common examples are stationary scanners, uh, handheld, or 3D scanning booths. Stationary 3D scanners are attached to either a stand or a tripod. Some of them include turntables to rotate small objects during scanning. Handheld 3D scanners can be used to scan an almost unlimited range of item sizes due to the fact that you can point them anywhere. Booth 3D scanners are a relatively recent development due to the popularity of scanning and printing out many copies of people. Contact ScanSource 3D and we will show you how you can benefit from 3D scanning. 